there, crafty friends. I'm coming on today because I uh, saw a card made by purple underscore crafty underscore girl that my buddy Beth, hey Beth, recommended. And she has so many cool cards. And most of them, what she says she does is she looks on Pinterest and they're usually in centimeters and she converts them to millimeters and inches and all the things. But her cards aren't A2s. And A2s are the kind that I like to send because, you know, you can just put them in an envelope and pray they get there. And so, anyway, I'm, I've converted them to be an A2. And I've made two different, turned them in two different ways and made three on this one and one on this one. And so I'm going to show you the cards and then I'm going to give you the instructions or the dimensions and then I'm going to make one. So, here, this one is called a triple circle card. Isn't that cute? I love it. And it's so easy. Okay, so there's that one. Let's put it right here. And then here's a single. <laughs> love it. And you can either put a picture on the back, or you don't have to, because really. And they also stand up. So when it stands up, you know, it'll look like that. Isn't that fun? <laughs> so, let's move these out of the way. And first, we'll do the, the one with three. So, I am going to put these instructions. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see it on there. Okay, I'm going to put them right here. And I gotta get my scoreboard. Hang on one second. I should have gotten my smaller one out of my travel bag, but you know how that goes. Okay, so first of all, I have used paper from um, Panalisa, and they had sent me this a while back, and I thought it was just beautiful, and I've used it, but I thought, you know, that'd, that'd be really pretty and really different from these other two. So that's the paper collection that I am using. I'll put that to the side. All right, so let's let's show you what I've got working here. And I've got my my um, elements that I'm gonna decorate. So first we have our card base, and it is a five and a half by eight and a half. And so we're gonna score it at four and a quarter, just like you normally would, and two and an eighth. Okay, easy enough. Yes, and move that out of the way. And then you're gonna fold it in this way. Where is my boner? There we go. And score it and then you're gonna fall back this way and score it okay so you've got your card right there okay so then this is your first mat four by five and a quarter just like you were making a regular a2 card your glue on there tape whatever is your Preference. Smooth that on. Then you have your three strips. So we're going to glue this strip on. This strip on, and we're gonna wait for the back strip because it I put it on there to cover up the, the little tabs. Okay, so let's move that to the side. Now that's my decor. So now you've got separate all this stuff. You've got six circles and so we're going to decorate those right quick and I'm only using the front of these because my 
embellishments. Um, you know, you can't put them front to back because they hang over a little bit. And I like them like that. And like I said, the back of the card doesn't show anyway, so. I mean, the back of the circle, excuse me. Okay, that, that, and that. Now, I'm going to... Um, all right. Let's go ahead. So, we've got our strips here. And, um, we're just going to fold them in half. Like so. And this just makes them a little more sturdy. And then... You know, if you put it in your on your grid, you can kind of see where the middle is. Glue that down. Put some glue in there. So you have that. So do that two more times. I put a little bit of glue in there just to hold that down. Okay. So we're doing that. One more time. Oops. Like that. Then you're going to take your plain circle glue it to the back. That just makes it nice and neat. And that's not something you'd necessarily have to do either because it's not going to show, but it, it, again, gives them a little bit more heft. Okay. Just like that. Alright, so then you have your lollipops. So, what you're going to do is, and I'm going to decide where I want them first because I want to make sure they're evenly spaced out and I want to make sure that my ephemera is going to sit on there like I want it. Okay, so now I'm going to take a pencil, and I'm going to mark where is that? either side of each one of these. It's kind of hard to see with this paper, but. So that's how you know where you want them, okay? And while I've got that done, I can decide where I want this. I think I want this one in the middle. And this one right here and this one right here so I'm gonna go ahead and glue those on right quick and it doesn't matter that they move now because I've got my little lines where I want them in this paper gorgeous Ugh. I love it Okay, so then you're going to cut in between your lines. On the fold. Now she actually, when she does it, she cuts out a chunk. I, I didn't cut out a chunk when I did it. And I found that it worked just fine. And you know, whenever you cut out a chunk, there's always that chance that your chunk might not be as nice and neat as you want it to be. Okay, let's see if we can get those to fit in there. If I can't, I might have to make them a little larger. Nope, that one's going in. Uh -oh. That one's going in. Okay, now then, we're going to straighten them back up, get them just like we want them. Okay, 
Then we're just going to open this flap. That looks really crooked. There. And we're just going to put glue on that flap. And then we're going to open it back up. And then if you need to adjust, that's the time. Okay. All right. So look what's happening. All right. So now this piece, we're going to glue back here just for neatness. Now then, I just cut out another circle. And this part, you know, you can do whatever you want to. Um, anyway, I'm just going to center this one. You could put an up and down sentiment like I did on that one. You could put, you know, you could stamp something on there. You can do whatever you want to. That's a totally cool thing. And then, I cut out this hello... And I'm going to put it on there like that. Now, I could put doodahs on there. You know, isn't that pretty? If I wanted to, I could put a, um, a, a white piece of paper in here, you know, with it that had a decorative lacy looking edge on it. But I really like it like that. So I think that's how it will stay. All right. So there's that one. I'll leave those instructions there. All right. So this is this one. So this is turned the other way. Okay. So it's the same assembly. You only have one. And the, the, fold, the way the card is turned is different. So this card base is 4.5 by 11. And we're going to score it at five and a half, and then two and three quarters. Okay. And then we're going to fold in and score and fold out and score. And then you've got it. So then we're going to take our first mat. It's four by five and a half, just like any mat would be. Put it in there. This one here, I just thought this was so beautiful with this lace and the flowers running down on edge. It was just like it was perfect for these pieces. I thought I, for one second there, I thought I had, it was upside down. <laughs> I mean, I guess if you want to get up that close on the words, but it is right side up. I will say that. It is. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this on because I can. And I'm sure that my time is running, ticking away. So... And I, if I weren't in a hurry, I would use my little bitty um, dot grid thing to put this on with. But, you know, time is of the essence. All right. So that's down. So now, we're going to do with this, just like we did with the others. Put this on here. This in half. And I love this pink and white wasn't with this collection. But I think it just adds a little element of sweetness. Let's see. See, even when I'm looking at it, I can't tell if it's right side up or upside down. 
Does that say something about me? Probably. Probably. Okay, so there's that. And I did it backwards, I sure did. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Or did I? No, I didn't. Oh, my. Okay, so now I want to see where it's going to be. And I want it to be right there in the center. So I'm going to go ahead and glue my pretties on there. And these are the, um, this is the ephemera that goes with this collection, which I think is adorbs. All right, now we can glue this on the back. Just line it up. Put it on there. See where you want it on here. And I mean, you can measure it, you know, but uh, that looks pretty good. All right, mark your line, mark your line. Cut your space. Slide it in. Get it in the center where you want it. Put you some glue on there. Flip it back over. Then flip it to the inside and glue your pretty little cover piece on there. Now, I will probably add, let's see how long I've been on here, 17 minutes, yeah. I'll probably add some little pearls here and there, you know, um, but because I'm at 17 minutes, you know, the witching hour <clears throat> is 15, excuse me. So anyway, aren't those cute? Now I can score that down a little bit more, but you know, it's an A2 card. I love them. I love them. So thank you so much, Purple Crafty Girl. I will link her in the description box below. And um, y'all, y'all go check her out. Um, I think I'll, I will be making a lot of her cards. And if they're not A2s, I'll convert them because, you know, I love myself an A2. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask and let me know what you think. And let me know what you think about tutorials. If you like them better than me just showing or you just like me showing or what you think. Okay? All right. I love you guys. Hope you have a wonderful, crafty day. Blessings.